Hi, this is Miss Claywell um, with Skill 12, writing linear equations using a graph. So you want to find your Skill 12 notes. Uh, we're going to start with slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is slope, and b is our y-intercept. So we're going to keep that in mind. We're moving forward. It's asking us to graph the line of an equation using x equals 5y. x plus 5y equals negative 10. We want to rewrite it in slope-intercept form. I'm going to get my y by itself. Then I want to divide both sides by 5. y equals negative 1 fifth x minus 2. b equals negative 2. So my y-intercept is 0, negative 2. And if I, once I identify my slope, if I b is negative 1 fifth, or 1 over negative 5, if I do negative 1 over 5, this is down 1, right 5. 1 over negative 5 is up 1, left 5. So it doesn't matter which one we do. And then we want to connect the dots. So this is a review of slope-intercept form. So given slope-intercept form, that is how we graph. Now we're doing the opposite. Given a graph, we're going to write the slope-intercept form. So step one, identify my y-intercept. So that's 0, 4. In other words, b equals 4. Identify another integer. Um, I'm going to go with 2, 1. I can calculate the slopes. I have two options. I can use 0, 4, and 2, 1. I get negative 3 over 4. Or I can think of rise over run. So down. I can think of it this way. This is down 3, right 2. Negative 3 over 2. And this is a mistake here. That should be a 2. So then I want to write it in and then I want to write it in y equals mx plus b and my b is 4 so moving on to the back page my y intercept is 2 I'm going to pick another point I went up 3 over 1, or just 3, so y equals 3x plus 2. Okay, I want you to pause, try this one on your own. So you've paused and you've tried number 2 on your own. Here's my y-intercept of b equals 3. Here's my other point. Um, I went, I rose two, three, four, and then I ran three. So m equals five over three, and I can't simplify that. Okay. 
if you did that by falling and then going to the left, you would have negative 5, negative 3, but you saw a 5 thirds. So if you think of it differently, that's fine. We should have just ended up with 5 thirds. My y-intercept here is 0. I'm going to pick another point. I fell 1, went right 3, so minus 1, right 3. Go ahead and pause and try 4 on your own. So we get from these points, I'd fall 5, right 3. And it would look like negative 5 thirds x plus 0. The last two we're going to do is my y-intercept. I don't have one. My slope is, remember if I have a horizontal line, the slope is 0. So y equals um, actually, you guys have made a mistake. I do have a y-intercept. I'm crossing at negative 1. b equals negative 1. m equals 0. y equals 0. x minus 1. Or just y equals negative 1. Here, for my y-intercept, I don't have one. I don't cross the y-axis anywhere. So I have no. And then my slope is undefined. So I want to think about this as an x equals. So I just have an x equals a negative 3. So come to class with questions. Um, and hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.